Hi everyone, it's Anne. Welcome to my channel, Head Trip Creations, where I do mixed media portrait art of all different types, including distressed, which this gal definitely falls under. And if you're anything like me, or if you do junk journaling, you love vintage photographs with all the sepia and the cracks from all the aging. So I came up with a technique that captures the essence of that look. I can't wait to show you how I did it. The video will start now. Enjoy. So I already did the sketch as you can see and to get that texture going that you need so much for that old photograph look, I decided to use joint compound for the background and I even go into the face. So I'm using both the heavier version which is all purpose and also the lightweight which is kind of like whiter and fluffier. And so right here, I'm using a brush to apply the lightweight one because it's creamier. And I actually tinted it a little bit with the alcohol-based acrylic ink. <laughs> it's a mouthful that I made. And so once all of that was down, I start to contour. So I'm using a small applicator like eyeshadow foam brush um, applicator whatever you call it and I'm just applying some black pan pastel all around wherever there's going to be a shadow and here I'm applying it um, around the eyes but I instead of drawing you'll see what I do to the eyes um, it was pretty daring like right here. So with the, I'm going to call it alcohol ink um, that I made with alcohol glycerin and acrylic paint, uh, burnt umber and a little bit of black. I go over the entire eye sockets and then later I go into the white of the eyes with a little bit of gray. And so it was a little daring to do it this way, but I love the way it turned out. And here, this is mostly alcohol, and there's so much texture in the background. It's really a shame that you really can't see it on camera the way I can see it. So I'm just going layer by layer because it's alcohol and it's kind of hard to get that saturation that you need. So you have to apply it a couple of times and going into like around the eyes as well, because that's where shadows would be under the, under the jaw, under the chin. And right now the face is a little bit too narrow. So I remedy, remedy that with the joint compound. So I'm creating more shadows. I have the brown on a filbert brush, which is soft and round tip. And now with buttermilk acrylic, which is one of my favorite paints, I am using a medium brush to widen the face. And the face has a lot of texture on it because it has all of that joint compound on. And I'm going to be scraping the joint compound with a razor blade once it's dry because I, I dry it off camera with the heat tool. So I'm adding it to the neck as well. And now she looks a little scary right now, but I'm adding the gray to the white of the eyes and boom, there she is. She comes to life. And so I go into the eyes with the alcohol ink um, and black acrylic as well. And then once I get it the way I like it, I'm going to start peeling away all the layers with the right here. So using a, a razor blade, I'm just chipping away, getting that look almost, almost like a porcelain doll, how the, you know, the surface is kind of like almost peeling away or like an old plaster wall. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just either with the 
um, flat edge of the razor or creating scratch marks with the very tip. And I, I, I admit that I probably went a little overboard because I had so much fun doing it. I really, I love distressed pieces, but you'll see what I do to go back and forth to kind of tone it down sometimes and then add more. And note that the background is all the same color and I end up um, using the alcohol ink to darken it. Not only her hair here, but also the entire left side of the background. Because you want that contrast. And you also want, when you're using the razor blade, you want to have a dark base because you're going to remove that and see the paper underneath. And it so it shows up better. Here I'm using some um, pastel stick in like a reddish brown. A little eye shine with the white gel pen. And then some more of the alcohol ink and the black acrylic. I don't know if I should call it alcohol ink or acrylic ink, but it has al it's alcohol and a little bit of glycerin. So I'm just adding some more shadows. First with the brush, then I use my fingers at a certain point, like right here. I like to smear with my fingers. Adding a little bit more black acrylic, as well as the alcohol ink. The upper lip is usually darker. And now I'm using Arteza Real Brush Pen to do some eyelashes. And now more of the lightweight joint compound to widen the face and shape it a little bit better. And then I dry it and then I use the razor again. Adding a little bit more all around before I hit it with the razor blade. I had to stop myself. I knew I would go too far if I didn't stop. Now here, I'm using the razor blade again. And then I go back into the piece with the alcohol ink. And then I use the razor again. So back and forth, back and forth until you get that result that you're looking for. Here I'm adding um, like more depth around the hairline with black and brown pan pastel. And now I'm using more of the alcohol ink, applying it with a really large brush. And now with the razor. And you could see the joint compound coming up. I loved it right around here, around the neck and shoulder area. It helps to use a lot of the joint compound. I didn't go too crazy where it was um, like big peaks, but it was kind of thick. So I'm glad that I made the eyes that dark because it really shows up um, against the dark. And you could see it on the face as well, but... I think it's hard to tell on camera. So I'm just touching up a little bit more and she is done. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you have any questions about my process or my materials, which I've detailed below, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will because I upload regularly. Until the next video, take care. I'll see you soon.